and welcome to project 57 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this custom cursor by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code first of all we have to create a folder and now let me give a name of like 0 0.1 not 0 0.1 but 0 70 57 so that's that now let me just write a name of custom custom cursor okay inside this custom cursor folder let me just write three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be style, style.css, and the third one will be just app.js. So now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code. All right, so for HTML, we are going to be first of all writing our doc type HTML, and now let's just write our custom cursor, cursor, and now let's just link it with our CSS and also with our JavaScript as well. Now let me just collapse this metadata from there right click on it and open with a live server and now we are live all right so for html we are going to be writing like two divs so in the first div we are going to be giving a classes of like inner cursor and now let's just duplicate this line of code and then we have this outer cursor okay so once we save it we will still cannot see something because we don't have any text inside there all right so now we are done with our html code so now let's jump right into a css and now let's just style it a bit so first thing first is like get or margin padding and also a box sizing of border box and font family will be totally sans serif you can choose whichever you like and now not a cursor yeah cursor will be none right here so now let me just get my body and also html and now give me a width of like 100 percent and then height will be 200 vh in this case and background color will be just like totally white okay so everything is working the way we expect him to work now let's just get our inner cursor first of all now let me just get our inner cursor position will be totally fixed fixed because we want uh, our cursor to follow this cursor right here so here is my cursor and now if we just uh, move our cursor inside the body so you cannot see the cursor that's because of this cursor none property now the next thing that you have to do is to just get or left uh, so let me just write 10 pixel and width will be also 10 pixel and the height will be also 10 pixel and then let me just write a transform of translate of minus 50 percent and also minus 50 percent now let me just get my background of totally white all right so the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to just provide a mix blend mode a mix not min come on and now let me just write uh, my border radius of like 50 percent and pointer event will be just set to none okay and now let's just add our transition like width of 0 0.5 seconds and height height will be just like a 0 0.5 second as well so now let's just add this transition on it seven file and now here you can see at the top we have this uh kind of cursor right here so now let's just add our outer cursor which will be this outer cursor now let me just get there and now here we are going to be just passing like our outer cursor and now let's just add a position fix on it as well and the left will be 10 pixel as well the width will be now in this case 25 and also the height will be also 25 now let's just add our transform on it and like once we translate it to 50 percent minus 50 percent and also minus 50 percent okay so now that's that now let's just add our border of one pixel totally white okay and now let's just write our mix blend mode come on why the hell am i writing min mix blend mode and it will be now equals to this difference as well and now let's just add our border radius of 50 percent on this one as well and pointer event will be pointer event will be just 0 0.1 millisecond and also let's just add our transition not timing function but just transition of 0 0.1 second seven okay so here you can see we are now getting our cursor right here we are totally done with our html and css so this will be the css code okay and this one will be the html code so now let's just jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity to our side so the first thing which you have to do is we have to get our cursors so let me just get like an inner cursor and it will be now equals to document.query selector of this inner cursor and let's just duplicate that and change this to like outer and also this one will be set to outer cursor okay so that's that now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to provide a document dot add event listener is once we mouse move so we cannot see the 
not move move but mouse move so you want to call this function which will be like move cursor okay so this is that now the next thing which you have to do is to just create or function of mouse not mouse but move cursor and now let's just put our e right there so now inside this function the first thing which you have to do is to get our x-axis so we are going to be just using e dot client and then let's just write x okay so that's that now let's just get or y and now let's just change this one to y so now we get our x-axis and y-axis so now let's just change uh, our cursor so we have our inner cursor and now we want to just change the style of let me just write a style so this is already fixed so you want to just put our left property and now let's just change this one to um this uh, x and now let's provide a pixel and change this one to y and instead of left now let's just change it to top so this will be the y axis and now let's just also change the property of this outer so now let me just get our outer cursor and now let's just add our style and let's just write our left and it will be now equals to this x like uh, x axis and now let's duplicate it and final thing which you have to do is change this one to y and to the top so once we save it and now if we move our mouse here move cursor everything is fine all right so we messed up here it shouldn't have to be it should be client let me just remove it like client x and client y so save it so now here you can see we have this uh, cursor right here so here if we just move it everywhere so now it will just follow our mouse right here and this is our custom cursor all right so we are totally done with our project so this is what i want to show you is like how to create your own custom cursor by just using html css and javascript so now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to push my code into my github repository so if you guys don't know about getting github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into your next project or if you want to join me like if you want to watch this video so you can also watch it all right so now let's just do like get status and we have this 057 get add everything and now let's just write our commit for them like 050 not 057 so now let's just add custom uh cursor cursor and now c u s t o m come on custom cursor like so now let's just add it to our github repository get push origin main now let's just hit enter and it will now push our code into our github repository so if i just refresh that so it will now give us our custom cursor here you can see that so now if you click on that i guess i messed it up uh let me just <laughs> let me just check my uh, comment uh come on get log of the final comment um all right so it's cool it's cool i thought i just misspelled this cursor so we are good so now here you can see we have this uh, app.js file if you want to grab that then we have this index.html file if you want to grab this code and finally we have this style.css file if you want to grab this code okay so that's that so i think that was about tonight's project and i'll see you in the next video bye bye